need to test the fuel pressure on this engine, but there is no fuel pressure test port, no Schrader valve or anything. And down here, it's got this hard line all the way from the fuel rail all the way back. So I can't pull I can't pull that apart and use a fuel pressure gauge up here. I really couldn't figure out how to do this, and then I had one last thought. So we move back here to the back seat and pull out the back seat bench. Most cars just have a little loop that you grab, pull out, and then pull up on either side. There's one on the other side as well, and the bench seat should pop right out. So then, there's this little access plate here. Three, usually 10 millimeter bolts. Pull those out, pull this out of your way, and we have the fuel pump right here. You're obviously going to need a fuel pressure tester like this one. You can loan them from any auto parts store. Basically what that is, is you go in there and you basically buy it. And then when you're done with it, you bring it back and return it and you get your a full refund, all your money back. You're basically buying it and returning it, but... All the other parts stores do it, and I use a lot of tools with that. They have a lot of specialty tools available that you only use once, maybe twice, and it's a good way to save a lot of money on those. So, and the fuel pump has these quick connects on it, and you just find the one that says, that has the out arrow. So the pressure comes out, and push the these two tabs in, and pull the fuel line off. Then I went up to the auto parts store, and bought this little uh, fuel line with the flanged end on it. And it's about 20 bucks, and I s cut it in two, and I filed down the end to make it smooth, get all the flakes off of it. Then I pull this little clip off of the fuel pump end and slip it right on to the end that I cut. Like so. Then plug that end into the end on the fuel pump just like so and it clips right in place and have some hose. Most uh, fuel test kits that you loan from an auto parts store will come with some pieces of hose and a T like this. So I just run the hose, clamp it down with hose clamps, and then on the other side, run it back around and into the fuel pump and clamp it down. And then we hook our fuel tester right up to the T here. And now we can check the fuel pressure. With the key in on, you can see the fuel the fuel pump came on and we're sitting at about 37 38 psi right now. It jumps up to about 50 when the fuel pump comes on and drops around to down to between 35 and 40 when the fuel pump shuts off. And it runs at about 40 when the engine is running. For this type of vehicle, that seems about right. So, time to look further. So that's how to test the fuel pressure without a Schrader valve and a hard line running from the engine all the way to the fuel pump.